You know, it's actually always raised a lot of questions as to why these male gonads sit in an unprotected sac outside of the body, especially if they're considered kind of important to reproduction, right? And look, there's been lots of research and hypothesis and debate around this. And one of the leading hypotheses around that is that the scrotums descended outside of the, you know, the human body and other mammal bodies, basically to provide this specific situation for the production of sperm, uh, the maintenance of sperm and this activation of sperm. And sure, there's been, you know, for roughly 60 years, a lot of debate and hypothesis around, well, why didn't the ovaries descend? Why did only it look like the testicles descended? Um, and ultimately, the leading hypothesis around this is that they descended outside of the human body to provide a cool environment for the production, um, the viability and the maintenance of sperm. Actually, in 1978, a researcher called Bedford actually argued that, well, the epididymis, which sits inside the testes, actually works like a cold storage unit for sperm, right? So his argument was that, well, it was actually the epididymis that forced this evolution of scrotal descent outside the body. You know, we know that production of sperm, you know, that viability and maintenance of sperm in humans and in most mammals requires the testicles to actually be at a temperature lower than body temperature. And it's also been proven that the maintenance of sperm, so once it is viable, that maintenance of sperm actually requires a temperature that is lower than body temperature. And like the design of the scrotum actually helps facilitate this. So, you know, scrotum skin, it's quite thin. So it allows, you know, heat dissipation to occur and allows those testicles to remain cool. On top of that, just the positioning of how the arteries and veins are actually provide that heating and cooling adaptive services. On top of that, you also have what are called the cremasteric cremasteric muscles, right? They sit around the testicles and they work by actually, you know, uh, ascending or descending the testicles. They will pull the testicles closer to your body when they are cold as to get some more warmth from the body temperature. And then when they feel too hot, they'll actually descend away from the body, allowing the testicles to actually cool off. So, you know, average scrotal temperatures are roughly two to three degrees below body temperature. And effective spermatogenesis actually occurs around about 34 degrees. So in a way, this is why they hang outside. <laughs>